Good morning, guys. It's currently 5.16 a.m. Wow, that's too really early. As you can see, I just woke up. Looking a little rough right now, but it's okay. We're gonna get it together. It's the first day of school. Yay. Officially an eighth grader. So yeah, we're gonna get ready. I don't wanna be late. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna start with my skincare. I use the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Skin Cleanser. Okay, so I'm done. Okay, so I'm done. I naturally, I naturally do my hair first, then I put on my fit. But I'm just gonna put on my fit first and then do my hair. I don't know. That's just what I'm feeling today. It's actually really early. It's 5:30 right now, and it's really early, so I have a lot of time. So I'm just gonna put my outfit on first. So yeah, I'm gonna like do the little thing. Okay, so changing into my fit. Okay, so this is the most basic fit the world has ever seen, but uh <laughs> This is what I'm wearing. I have a jacket to go like see how short it is I can't even like so I have a jacket that I'm literally gonna wear all day because I cannot Take this off. I'm gonna take it off like before, you know I'm gonna put it on before I leave, but like I don't need it on right now. But sorry, it's so dark in here. It's dark outside, and I just have my LED lights on. But yeah, this is what it's gonna be. I'm gonna be going the first day and wear my school shirt. So I'm gonna do my hair. I actually just washed my hair today, so it's fresh. I'm gonna answer some questions later. I actually got some questions on Instagram. I'm gonna answer those a little bit later. Right now, I'm gonna do my hair. This is not a hair tutorial, so we're just gonna time lapse this time check. It is currently 5:45. done it's a little wet well it's really wet right now which is why it's like droopy like this but once it dries i'm gonna fluff it out a little more now time to get to those questions and i'm gonna like put on my jewelry i already put on my perfume but i could put on a little more because you know you can never have too much perfume actually you can but like you know yeah anyways right now today i'm gonna use beautiful day i'm using the travel size version because i'm gonna take it to school with me you know i have all these bracelets in here but they don't fit me like this is so big for my small wrist which is why like i don't wear them okay so starting off what are some pos what are some positivities about middle school honestly for me middle school is just like filler three years because it's like where else would you go but for some people or i guess for a lot of people it's time where you actually kind of start developing before you go to high school and that's when you do most of the developing it's a point where you get to experience new things and develop before you go to high school um someone said i'm a ninth grader but thoughts on advanced classes so i'm actually in two if not three advanced classes ip algebra one and i'm saying three because i was in pre-ap english last year so i don't know if that means i'm in ap english i don't know but we're gonna find out when we get to school today i've always been in gt i don't know if you guys know what that means but gifted and talented is basically where you you're a little bit more advanced than other kids i guess so i've always been in those 
types of classes it's really just normal to me this year i'm a little bit more nervous because ipc is like i was in accelerated science last year and we did some more eighth grade science science is not to my jam in any way shape or form i'm not good at science well i say i'm not good at science but i don't like science it's really not appealing to me it's just like why would i why would i need to know these things so <laughs> they're probably gonna think that we know what these things are but i forgot everything i ever learned in seventh grade and also algebra overall my view on advanced classes is pretty cool because they treat you as if you know what that stuff is and i can figure it out so i'm not too worried about that what is some advice for upcoming middle schoolers so people who are going to sixth grade the thing is when i was in elementary they were always like they are not gonna take that in middle school like you're gonna get sent to detention if you ever do that again don't let the elementary school teachers make you think that middle school is scary it's not scary it's not scary at all i was scared because i was like we're gonna get in trouble because you do this and that and that and that and that and the other it's not scary at all there's too much unnecessary drama that goes on in middle school a lot of people i've seen a lot of new sixth graders from last year they kind of just got into drama or started drama because they were they could i guess you could say i don't know it's just weird they just automatically like it's like a click and they just go crazy so i say just don't fall in with that kind of people who just start messing for no reason and then like it's just this big thing and then you fight and all that kind of stuff i feel like fighting is just irrelevant we don't fight here and if you do come across that kind of situation handle it maturely don't be like the people who want to fight 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 like that resolves any thing okay the next question is what is your favorite what was your favorite thing about seventh and eighth grade well i'm going to eighth grade so i can't really speak on that but seventh grade my favorite part was well in the beginning of the year i was like a sixth grader because this is my first year actually in the school because i was online sixth grade towards the end of the year i was a little bit more open social i guess you could say so that was fun my favorite part was just growing just blossoming and i'll answer one more question what is the hardest part about going to middle school the work <laughs> i don't like doing school work so for me that's the hardest thing all that i'm gonna answer today maybe i'll answer them in another video or something but i am ready for school i got some air forces i mean that's like an old shoe but it's never gonna ask that i want no not too much on my air force okay i had these and I got these in the pandemic and I literally, my sh I grew out of this size in like a few weeks because I was going nowhere and I was just growing, growing, growing. And these were like platformed, I guess. They were so big, but they are so heavy on my feet. So this time I got low. So we're going to put these on now. I usually don't like putting shoes on in my room, but I've literally never worn these before. These are fresh. I'm going to like, I'm going to make a separate video. Um, I don't know if it's going to be out by the time you guys see this, but uh, it's a like, you know, back to school emergency kit guy because we all need that for girls yeah why does it take me so long to tie the shoe we got the shoe on my alarm is going off i said like ten thousand alarms and this one is for six thirty i'm gonna go downstairs and get some cereal but i'm going to curl the eyelashes hurt i got this from five and below i literally don't know how to do this i'm like and no this is not putting on makeup this is not putting on makeup it's literally just curling my eyelashes i think this is very appropriate i actually don't know how long i'm supposed to curl this My mom wants me to hurry up so we can take pictures. I'm coming! I feel like it literally doesn't make a difference. Then we got this chapstick and lip gloss. This is the look! Yeah. <laughs> Have a great day! <laughs> So I just put my backpack downstairs. Luckily, mine has two pockets. I'm gonna get a travel size deodorant, but just in case, I'm gonna put that in here. I'm gonna put my sanitizer, stuff I need to reach easy to use, fastest, and make my mask. And then I like my pencil and my strap right there. I'm a school girl now. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some cereal before it gets too late. I'm gonna make my breakfast and 
and I'll see you guys when we're about to leave. I finished eating my cereal and it's time to go to school. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. For everyone who is going back to school, was already in school, good luck and prayers to you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.